Hello everybody, this is Hydropowered Games here with another, well, not another, with my first redstone tutorial here. Because my other ones are on the other channel. So anyway, right here as you can tell in the, in the description, or in the title box, however you want to call it, it's, I have before you a compact torture machine in Minecraft. And it's completely buildable and survival. As long as you have a large lava supply, you would be fine. And all you need for the water is attach a double, a double pul pulse um, maker to it. But this is the most compact you can get with manual reset. I'm pretty sure you can get a little bit less compact than this, but with um, an auto reset and stuff like that. But let's just show you how it works here. So I'm going to spawn in my my certificate here. Because this guy over here has been very naughty lately. He needs some torturing done. So what you do is you put your test subject inside the test tube area. And you begin torturization. And watch the magic that happens. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I blew my mic. Okay, so this is what's going on. I'm gonna teach you. See, this is what I'm saying with this. If you want it to uh, multiple water buckets, you're gonna want to bring this piston down one, and it's gonna clear the water for you. Or else you can make this a nine tick delay, I think, and then feed back into this thing and it will double pulse which means it will scoop the water back up and over here as for as for this all it can do is add a mono stable or something to it and then that will fix this entirely over here but let's kind of I'm going to kind of show you what goes on here and then I'm going to show you how to make it so so Albert. here I am about to go through what's going on here so first things first this button powers these two dispensers that are pointing inwards towards the torture chamber. And what happens is this one sh shoots a potion of fire resistance and this one shoots a potion of regeneration to make the regeneration longer or constantly throwing splash potions if they want them to be suffering for a longer period of time. Then this dust also powers this block here which goes over here and splits off into two directions and four ticks later a lava bucket will pour over this person but since he has a fire resistance potion it's not going to do anything it's just going to sit there until eight ticks later water gets poured over the lava which in turn creates obsidian and then this if you have this one block lower it would block out the it would block out the water but I have it one block above that's just that's just so they uh, what I forgot what it was I can really forgot uh, that's um wow well, okay it's just to cover the top pretty much but so they don't escape while the water is being placed and if you're gonna have this on the top you're gonna want to scoop the water back up over here and the lava is gonna be gone just admit that uh, anyway so on to building this. You know, I'm going to test this myself just so I can show you how this escalator thing works. See, obsidian is on top of me right now. Oh, crap. Don't, <laughs> I took the water out. I'm stupid. Okay. Well, let's kill this guy. Take two. So a lot of obsidian. See, I'm jumping out, and then since there's water there, I could jump out perfectly. But what's happening right here, if there wasn't any water there, I would not be able to jump out because this is just one block of obsidian, and I would not be able to jump out because there's not another block of leafage down here. So that would mean I could not escape this trap, especially since there's obsidian in my face and I can't dig outward. So once you're in here, you're dead if you set this up so the water gets scooped back up or at least blocked by this piston. So on to building it. You are going to need the materials in my inventory currently. Uh, let's get them. Get, get them ready. And uh, answering so machine. So let's start so building it. So you're going to want to have a flat surface to work on. And 
let's see over here, you're going to want to have a 4x4x4, four by four by four, I think, 4x4x4 four four by four area, and that's going to be, it's going to be very small, so you're going to have a surface, put redstone dust on it, and then put a block with a button on it, right here, and then what you're going to want to do is put two dispensers facing inwards against the redstone dust, like so. That way, they're both facing this direction, and the dust is right here. Let me set the time to day. And there's that. Second thing you're going to want to do is right here, place a block, and then put a redstone, t a redstone repeater at four tick delay. I uh, might want to go ahead and build up the tube here. So you're going to want to put a thing there, and then put a torch right here and a redstone repeater right here. And this is all that you need for the base floor or the bottom floor. And on for floor number two, you're, all you need for floor number two is a dispenser right here and a block right here. Well, that's floor three, technically. And then build this up some more. And then floor three, uh, put another torch here, and then put two repeaters on top of two blocks, like so, both at full take delay, make them feed into a block right here, and then place down a dispenser with some redstone on it by clicking it on the side of a block, and then put another block on the side of that, and there you can do one of two things from here. Number one, what you can do is place a block here and a block here and then make some kind of clearway area to put the dis sticky piston there. And what you're going to want to do from there is... Whoop, whoa, come on. <laughs> okay, this is, this is weird. Repeater. And, wait, I know I did that wrong, okay. Here, repeater, block here, repeater at full delay again, and redstone dust below. This is the first way you can do it, and the second way you bring this up one and put the repeater in the same and place. And that is pretty much it. Now, what you're going to want to do is in the bottom, one, one of the bottom two dispensers put one of each kind of potion. The middle dispenser, you're going to want to put a lava bucket, or as many lava buckets as you want. Just make sure that when you're done, there's no empty buckets in there, or else that can make the system get all jacked up. And in the top, you're going to want to put a singular water bucket. Again, you can put as many as you want, but make sure that you have a filtration system so that the, the empty buckets get filtered outward or something. I don't know, you can brainstorm it from here, like all my Redstone tutorials, you can customize it or compact it as much as necessary. Now let's try to test this one out to make sure it is working functionally. And... Torture machine, be active. Excellent. That concludes this tutorial, and I am out. See you later. Let's wait for him to die.